What's going on? Move the mouse back in City Skylines with another episode of Season 9, episode number 23, question mark. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. I, I did something. I started messing around with something offline, and uh, there used to be a roundabout here. Now we've got a stoplight. And uh, did I get rid of the stoplights along the rest of the road? I didn't. Uh, you may notice some overhead wires, too. Uh, I figured we could break out something a little different and do some trolley buses. So that's why I changed this from a roundabout and turned this into trolley bus road. The overhead wires all the way down here. You can see where it stops. We've got to figure out a way for them to kind of turn off and uh, and back on down there. But uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. I think we're going to have to move some stuff over here to give them those turnarounds. So let's move this clinic and we can move some stuff uh, did I put it right back? I did, didn't I? Um, we can try and move some stuff kind of over here into this central area. And then how full is that? Full enough that we need to, uh, need to collapse it. I don't know if we do this right across there. That's that's fine by me. Fill that space in a little bit. And then demand-wise, what do we got? Maybe some offices over here? Just kind of along the uh, the street, maybe? That might do the trick. Uh, and then we do have a little bit of commercial demand, and that would be fine over here. Low density. Back to back with those. That's okay. And then we'll do a little... Oh, maybe we'll do this too. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, I think those people are waiting for a... a well, I was going to say a bus that isn't coming, but it might have got moved when I changed the roads around. Because that doesn't look like where I would put a bus stop. We'll probably have to revisit that. Let's jump into transport today. And we've got this new tab in Sunset Harbor. That's the trolley bus. So just like the tram, if you used that before, this has to sit on a road somewhere connected to trolley bus lines. So um, it also gives us those roads here. Let's come up into the woods just a little bit. And then we don't have just trolley tracks, do we? So let's uh, let's circle this out. It's a very small uh, roundabout at five units each way, uh, but it does what we need it to do. It gives the the buses a way to come in, turn around down there, and turn back out. Now the next question down at the other end of the line is what do we do here? Now we could try and carry this through here and redesign this intersection. I think for right now what we'll do is, let's see. Maybe we'll make a trolley bus two lane road up around this way. You'll see what I'm thinking in a second. So if we do that, Does that connect? It looks like it does. Okay. So if we drop in the depot now up up this way, will it let us? That would have been too easy, right? So that'll work. And now that we've got a depot, now we can do lines. So we may as well start on the opposite side of the street here. They'll take a right out of the station. I guess they could take a left out of the station and we could go, we could go there also. We'll do that. We'll stop every couple blocks. That bus road's kind of a mess. I might might want to look at that one. Um, 
So we'll keep bringing this down maybe to there. And then heck, why don't we throw one down on this street since we're already coming back that way anyways. Alright, so we've done a little loop there. If we throw it on three times speed, we should see. There we go. Trolley buses start to spawn here. Now, maybe what we can do is a quick check of intersections beyond when we first create a route. We're not going to see a lot of traffic coming out of here. Um, but worst case, they could just stop. That That's not a big deal. Uh, down this way. Let's stop all the other traffic and have traffic flowing off of there. And then we'll do the same thing with most of, oh, that was already done. Most of these four ways, which is stop the smaller uh, roads and let the, the big roads handle the traffic. So that's the one that's coming off the highway. So let's not stop this one. And we'll stop like that. We'll leave the light on the highway just to make sure that that keeps flowing. So that's all looking pretty good. We don't need a stoplight there, I don't think. Is that where the garbage trucks? Yeah, garbage trucks come in and out of there. Let's try that. It's not always going to work well. Sometimes you need a light to kind of cycle things a little better. I did do a, uh, a road down here with the tram lines, and you'll notice if you see a symbol like this. I, I said tram, but trolley bus. It's sort of the same thing. They have to end and loop somewhere. So if you just have a dead end like this, the, the buses can't do that. Uh, now, in actuality, in real life, or at least in Boston, um, those buses can come on and off those rails. So if there are parts of streets um, where they need to get to, they can you know, have the rails there for electric power and they can coast by on either battery charge or a um, you know, little bit of engine drive until they can get connected, say, back across an intersection and those wires automatically hook back up. In cities, that's not a thing, though, so you've got to have wires everywhere. Since we've went ahead and looped that up into this neighborhood instead, I'm just going to upgrade this back or downgrade it, I don't know, technically, to regular four-lane roads. So let's go over here and let's check out our trolley bus. Where is it? The first one's turn around now. Let's see. Let's let's see if anybody's riding it. Looks like there are people lining up for some of the stops. And it, and there's enough buses right now that they're not spread out enough on the route, so you will see them kind of piling up and blocking traffic like that. Unfortunately, especially when. You have just the right length where they think they can pull in, but they're going to block all that traffic. And the cars don't know to go around. They just know that, hey, that's the lane I want to be in, and I'm going to wait until it's clear. So we are seeing quite a bit of traffic over here, but I did, again, change this from a roundabout, which is probably a lot more effective, into uh, some much closer intersections. But I think, all in all, I w wasn't I going to follow a, a trolley bus here? I think I was. Squirrel. Uh, let's do that. No, I, I moved off it, didn't I? Follow. Go ahead. There's nobody there. I don't know what you're waiting for. There we go. So this is definitely, you know, it, this is a, a new way to do transit. It's a little bit more involved in buses because you have to do the roadways also, but it's got a different look. It's got a different feel. Um, I want to say same capacity. It is. It's 30 per unit. So we may see some people piling up, but they'll come all the way down here and loop back up 
you know, that neighborhood for a stop and then come back down. So that'll get people moving around this half very nicely. We could do kind of the same thing over here. And, and this one's actually a lot more dense. We could probably get a couple lines through there. But want to get people moving in, in and around. Trolley face, what did I do? Transport 35,000 citizens and trolley buses. So this, the uh, the achievements are definitely really glitched in Sunset Harbor on, on Xbox at least. Um, as soon as I put fishing in, I had fished 10,000 fish. As soon as I put trolley buses down, I had transported 35,000 passengers. Um, half our city's population already got on a trolley bus. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to complain. I'll take, uh, I'll take some achievos. That's fine. Uh, we have this over here that we never built back up. Did uh, change that around a bit. But I thought it would be kind of nice just to have some different avenues through here and start to change some of the lines and test some stuff out. And, and that's kind of what I wanted to test out today was getting the trolley buses in there. I deleted the neighborhood over here just to put things back a little bit. And I, I built a little park. And I actually put the, I don't know, friendly neighborhood park or standard park object inside of the park. So we've got things like parking. We've got, you know, picnic tables and a gazebo plaza back there just to fill in that space a little bit and I think I think we could zone at least a couple of these streets so uh, we'll fill and I'm gonna go with the bigger zones on these these two streets like that fill in a little bit of commercial space and then if we come over like I do all the time eventually we'll fill in more of the trees in fact I did fill in some random trees over here uh, but we can use that bigger brush, spam a couple down. I've really been liking the conifers for this map. And then if we want to highlight and detail little areas, now we can start to sneak in some maples and alders and oaks and, and all sorts of other stuff that we might want to mix in here or there. But the base of my palette is really conifers and wild conifers. Wild, wild conifers end up being the really big ones. So something like that. I just built a house on a, on a lot. Whoops. So what are people complaining about? Not enough workers? Well, we don't have a lot of residential demand, so I can't really do anything about that. Um, with the trolley buses here moving people around, maybe they'll be prone to go a little bit further. Got to keep an eye on this uh, this traffic, though. This is this is very different to, to dump down to an intersection with a stop. I, I wish you could just, you know, just say no left turn, force people to go that way, and maybe have them turn around in this roundabout and come back through the city or or find another alternate route. We're almost getting to the point where it's backing up to the highway and then the, the intersection lets it through. So if this doesn't actually back up into this lane, we're in pretty good shape. As soon as it does, that's when we start causing bigger problems. So uh, some of that I bet we could get rid of by not having all these stupid buildings in here. These are, this is not where they belong, anyways. We'll leave these two. These are monuments. This helps with pollution. This helps with our power. And I think these are okay. Can we get that tower in somewhere? But the, the fact that we have all these down here, a lot of people are going to be coming this way to turn up this way to come see the monuments. And we really shouldn't see that much uh, car traffic. In this case, a lot of it is just due to these uniques and uh, big buildings that are over here. Or uh, uniques. They're the things that are seeing some of the most visitors. Um, down here in the IT square. Where can we get this? Do we have schools tucked in on this block? This is a little bit of an odd choice to me, but... That could work. I can deal. Yeah, I've really got to knock down some of the zoning. I let this one get away from me. I will be honest. It uh, it got a lot bigger than I wanted it to. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. That's what she said. So over here, our water's doing okay? Yes. In fact, we're, we're doing so okay that I think it's time to risk flooding the area again for a bit. We'll be doing cinematic shots before you know it. Where can we move a couple of these? Like the aquarium, the expo center, science hall, science center. 
Couldn't remember. This is Museum of Modern Art. Theater of Wonders. Dang. Man. Used to know my buildings. Theater of Wonders. Let's try and get that in somewhere. Where are we a little dry? Where are we starving for entertainment? Across the street from the casino? Will it let me fit it? So what if we just got rid of this block? Now will it let me do that? That way if we're going to have a lot of traffic, it can be all over here by the, the casino. Bring him into the town for the Theater of Wonders. Come across the street to do some gambling. Uh, pause. I'm going to break these two. All right, I should have probably left the, uh, the other half of that there. So let's do that. That's good enough, right? Crosswalk on either side. They can get from one side to the other. Especially useful if they path a little different from uh, the metro. So that I don't think should convince them that it's any shorter just because they go that way first. So we didn't do any favors for our traffic, but I think it does favors aesthetically for the city. I think this is kind of a cool looking area now. We could still fill in a couple trees by the highway over there. There we go. Plenty of kindling now. But I kind of like this. We'll, we'll still have to revamp our uh, our routes. Uh, maybe what I'll do is kind of go through line by line, drop some of that stuff into the city, and then kind of show you why I was thinking of uh, doing certain routes certain ways. But I definitely need to come in here and, and delete and rethink some of them because it's a bit of a mess. But I do like this new uh, trolley bus line that we've dropped in. It's a pretty heavily trafficked road, so... You know, anything that we're doing to, to get people off the, the cars, off the roadway, is a good thing. I mean, I guess in this case, they're still on the roadway. Now, just keep in mind, over here at the end of the line or the end of the road, you're going to have to have a way for those uh, trolley buses or trams are the same way. You're going to have to have a way for them to turn around. In the case of trams, they do have tram-only roads, so those don't actually support any kind of cars. But with the trolley bus, it's a two-lane road with wires. A one-way with wires or a four-way road or four-lane road with wires so there's no um, wires only because it's it you're still in a car right that's assumed that you're driving around um, the tram does not necessarily need a road trolley bus does all right let's get on our whoa are you can I get on okay we'll pretend like I actually got on there and like it's not just gonna speed off when uh, when it drives away. Again, this is one of the new transport options that comes with Sunset Harbor. Check out some trolley bus lines. Let me know what you think. It's it's not necessarily my cup of tea. You know, I, I'm all about the metro. Buses are nice and simple and you don't have to worry about the roads, but if you're going for that certain aesthetic appeal, and certainly some small towns or smaller big cities, I guess, um, you know, might have trams and trolley lines. And uh, it's a nice way to switch things up. So makes the camera work a little wonky. Especially when we go under this bridge here. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think it's got a it's got a nice look. Relatively simple to set up in uh, in comparison to the the trams. If you've done that before, if not, again, just keep an eye out for icons that say that your you know your road's incomplete. You have to loop the um, the wires around so that the buses can can make those turns and come back to home base. In fact, they're about to make that turn to the left, I believe. Because that's where our wires end on the main road. And they'll swing through here and make one stop before coming back to the four-lane road. But it looks like it's fairly popular already. We go into transport routes. Look at trolley buses. And I think we can, what, inspect this line? A, a bus with 10, with 24, 11, 13, 30, 13, 8, 0. So they're all getting off by the end of the line, it looks like. But a lot of people waiting at the stops. So, I, I'm a, maybe maybe that number on the left doesn't change. And it's how many people are max per vehicle. But again, you can see how many per vehicle, and then the big one, how many people are at a particular stop. So, 
um, that 205 one, that's a big one. That's that's one we're going to want to have other methods for connecting people around. There's already a lot of people there, so if there isn't a subway nearby, we should probably do that because people are in that area looking for transport. And uh, maybe right now trolley bus is the only one, but but who knows? We'll cover a little something different in each one of the remaining episodes, but I'm not going to go too crazy into the entire project. I think at this point in the Let's Play, a lot of you know kind of what's happening. If not, you know, this isn't this isn't the step by step phase. We're going to be starting a new city very soon. And um, especially early on, things tend to be step by step. But later on endgame, I poke and prod at things and, and give you some updates. And, and this is kind of what I thought I'd, I'd work on today was just changing up the look of this area and providing a new mass transport option in the process. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot, and they are greatly appreciated. And they help more than you could possibly imagine right now. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get updates in this and other series. Join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. And if you'd like to support the channel, links to that and all those other things in the description down below. Maybe in the next episode we can look at Metro 2.0 and, and kind of tie that into some larger areas of the map um, and then figure out where we want to do the rest of our smaller transport options in and around that. But that is uh, Future Mouse's problem. In the meantime, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Until the next one, from the town of Swampscott, it's better than it sounds. This is Move the Mouse, signing off.